All right, Bone Honks, this video is all about Garrison Tremor. My new pairing for the next month. I have been challenged. If you didn't listen to the podcast, it's a 30 day challenge that Hater and I are doing. Uh, also, check out the podcast, it's a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, with 30 days that I have to put some time into Garrison Tremor, the rule set is that I have to put the half of the amount of time that I'd be playing my normal characters, uh, Shang, Quan, and Sector. I have to put half of that into Garrus, because I'm not going to stop making content on those characters. There's still a lot of fun, lots to be had there. But I tell you, for the short amount of time that I've been playing this pairing, this pairing is disgusting. There are some crazy things here. Like, honestly, I'm pretty sure there are setups here that are illegal in 20 different countries. Like, there's seven states that have banned this particular pairing. And, like, this pairing is, like... This is ribbed for her pleasure, for sure. So, like, in the short amount of time that I've had, I've kind of been playing around in the Bonehawk Discord, just with some people, and the results speak for themselves. Like, when I was playing against Patient Impulse, anyone that knows him knows that his temper is through the roof. Like, it takes very, very little to throw him over the edge. I was in maybe game three. And I could hear him just slam his controller down. He says, your head is shaped like a cupcake, and I bet your butthole leaks like Edward Norton. I, that's the, the exact quote, frame for frame. I played Koala Bear Khan. I could literally, I found out he's an actual robot. My koala is a robot. Like, I could hear the gears starting to creak and things popping and blowing off. And like, I tried every optimal combo and I still didn't win. Oh. So, like... Even though I haven't played a whole lot with this uh, with this team, I've, I've been having some success. Decided to play against a Quan because, I don't know, I mean, why not play against my own main character? Play Draz? Literally, literal bro breakdown in the chat. Just sitting, just crying, just, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. My buttons are awful and I've tried Skydrop, it keeps getting blocked. And I've tried nothing, and I'm all out of ideas. Like, this is a salt-inducing pairing right here. Um, after all of these sets happened, actually, Hater came to me and he's like, Okay, now, I know that you have footage of all these games. I would like to see your pairing and play a long set, uh, but don't record it. I don't want anyone to see it. I just want to see what everyone's complaining about. So we played... It went how you would think, of course, and um, I asked if Cater could at least make a statement about how he felt about the set, and uh, he had this to say. Like, uh, how, how can you even be mad, right? I yeah. just like, I, I laughed so hard, it's so funny, <laughs> oh. and it's funny because it happened off screen, even though we, we knew stuff like that could happen because there was some other silly business earlier. So I felt like instead of like going through this super duper long video of all these games that I obviously played and reactions that are obviously real, I just kind of go into what I've been learning so far and what I've, where I kind of started with this team and where I'm kind of the vision at. So that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> Accept your death. So one thing that I've noticed with Garrus off the top is uh, he's very neutral heavy and he relies on a lot of tools um, to work around that because he struggles a bit with keep away, which is kind of why I wanted to challenge myself with this character. Like I've played command grab characters in the past, you might remember in MK11 I played Garrus and a little bit of Jax and that kind of stuff. So it's not like I've never played them, but it's certainly not my comfort zone. I prefer a zoner, so right off the bat it was hard for me to not just go like right into metallic and be like ah oh, i'm gonna just gonna do this over and over again and that's probably a good strategy like no like that's that's good but it's not kind of like where kind of i want to be um i was trying to come up with some combos for this pairing and you know when you like you're, you're starting to figure out a combo path with a character like i think i got to here like and, you know, after a good couple hours, I was kind of like, how can I... How can I capitalize off of this, you know? Like, how do I make this work? And uh, eventually, you just go to Twitter and steal somebody else's combo. So, yeah, this is what I come up with.
So that's a casual 572 damage. Um, lots of time spent in the lab trying to figure that out, and uh, a couple seconds on Twitter as well. So, uh, so that's kind of like where I'm basing my BNBs off of, and kind of figure out the range on his moves. Um, another thing is he does get um, some combos off of his uh, throw. So 309 damage off the throw is actually pretty good. That's one bar a meter, but I mean, it's 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 something. It's a throw combo, which is pretty cool. Um, I find that this this string kind of difficult. Having crystalline kind of in there to cover some things is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, all in all, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I've kind of been, because Tremor is such like a tricky cameo, I've been trying to learn him in like thirds. So I played a set uh, the other day and just stayed in Crystalline just the whole time. That was just kind of my strategy, just kind of figure out how he works in that variation. I'm going to do the next with Metallic and then lastly with, um, with Aftershock because I don't honestly think I'll spend a whole lot of time in Aftershock. This is just like early me thoughts that... You know, down the road, I could be like, whoa, wow, this is crazy. Why haven't I been doing this? But I think most of the time I'm going to be wanting to, like, transmute into Aftershock to get, like, the extra stuff. Um, but it could be wrong. Like I said, <clears throat> this is pretty cool. That covers that. Like, in making that safe. Whoops, I'm in the wrong variation. So if I want to do that, and then I can still combo from it afterwards. Uh... Uh, whatever you know that you know what I'm saying Gary if you have any tips if you've played this team you have any tips or anything that you haven't really seen me show off here please let me know in the comments um, I'm gonna be updating you every week on this pairing and uh, maybe going forward have some some gameplay so you can kind of see how I'm going and maybe you see something I kind of just want you to come on this learning journey with me and and, and explore this character because he is super cool and he's definitely a lot of fun so that's it for today, just kind of a short video, just wanted to kind of show you a little bit about what I've been working on, how my thought process goes. Um, what is it today? Monday? So I'll probably try and update you next week, maybe with some games or some new tech or something that I've found. Um, but yeah, this is just, just an update to let you know what I'm doing. Didn't want to make it anything too fancy. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, because it really helps me out, and subscribe if you haven't, because I make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks, all that stuff, and we'll see all you Bonehawks. In the next video. Accept your death.